This Romeo and Juliet question really caught my attention uh, when a student brought it to me. Romeo is obviously in love with Juliet and does not want to wake her, uh, wake her parents or others in the family, but he wants to wake her up and get her attention. And so he is uh, throwing stones, pebbles, at her window. But the idea is that he wants the, the stone to hit the window with the smallest velocity possible. And so, what should that velocity be at which it hits the window? Here is the question for you. Romeo is throwing pebbles gently up to Juliet's window and he wants the pebbles to hit the window with only a horizontal component of velocity, like, like that. Hit the window with a horizontal component. He is standing at the edge of a rose garden, romantic, eight meters below her window. So he is eight meters below the window and 8.5 meter from the base of the wall where the window is. How fast are the pebbles going when they hit her, her window? So the height is eight meters. He is 8.5 meters away. Those are the only two qualities given. You have to find how fast the pebbles are going when they hit the window. This is really a, a tough one for a student. So let's try to do this. First of all, here is the picture, the diagram. So that is Romeo and he is uh, throwing pebbles and it hits the window horizontally. So this is the eight meter, the height of the window from where he's throwing the pebbles. And he is 8.5 meters away from the wall on which the window is. Now, the initial velocity of projection is not given. Uh, let us take it as VO. And when you take that initial velocity, you got to break it up into VOX and VOY. Because the velocity is at an angle, you got to resolve it into its components. So here, VOX and VOY, right? So that's the idea. So you have VOX and VOY. Ah, I have no idea why this OX is so far off, anyway. And then another important thing is that the horizontal component never changes because the horizontal component is not acted upon by gravity. So from the start to the finish, the horizontal component is constant. But the vertical component is acted upon by gravity and it changes. So the final vertical velocity is going to be zero because when it hits, it's hitting horizontally, right? So it has no vertical component. So the final y velocity is zero and the final x velocity is the same as the initial x velocity. See that? Because the x velocity does not change. That is a key point in understanding this question. So first let's consider the y quantities. I'll do this in three steps. Step number one, we know that the initial y velocity is v o y. We do not know its value, but we know the final y velocity is zero. And then the acceleration is negative 9.8 meter per second squared. That's the acceleration. And delta y, which is the vertical displacement, is given as 8.0 meter. So the kinematics equation that connects these quantities is Vf squared y is equal to Voy squared plus 2a delta y. We know the final velocity along the y is zero, so that's zero, and then you have Voy squared plus two times negative 9.8. Now two times negative 9.8 becomes 
negative 19.6, and then you have delta y as 8. So when you multiply that and rearrange, you get 156.8, and the square root of 156.8 is 12.5 meter per second. So now we know that the initial y velocity is 12.5 meter per second. That's a good start. Because now in step two, we can use that to find the time it takes for the pebble to reach the window. All right, let's do that. So step two. In step two, again, we are looking at the y velocity. The initial is v o y. The final y velocity is zero. The acceleration is a negative. Uh, we actually got the initial y velocity is 12.5 meter per second, right? We got it here. So we can use that. The final is zero. Acceleration is negative 9.8 meter per second squared. And we can find the time. And in order to find the time, the equation is Vfy is equal to V O Y plus A times T. V F Y is zero. V O Y is 12.5. And the A is negative 9.8, so that brings the negative, and then multiplied by time. So when you rearrange, you get this. 9.8 T is 12.5, which means the time is 12.5 divided by 9.8. And so we get the time it takes as 1.28 seconds. Now that we have the time it takes, we can finally turn our attention to step three. In step three, we're going to use the time that we got and remember that Vox is constant. Now, because the velocity along the x is constant, we can simply multiply that velocity with the time to get how much it moves along the x. And we know that it has to move 8.5 meters along the x because that's how far away Julio, uh, Julio, Romeo is. So... Delta x is Vox multiplied by time. Remember, we're using this formula because we know the horizontal velocity is constant. And from there, we can find Vox. Rearrange, you would get Vox as 8.5 divided by 1.28. So that gives the answer. That gives the Answer 6.64 meter per second. Now that's the initial x velocity, but that's also the final x velocity. You know why? Because the x velocity never changes. You got it. So that's the answer to the question. That's the velocity with which the pebble hits the window because it says it has to hit it horizontally. Now I think you should have understood this question which has three steps. It's a good question, and I think I may even include this on the final exam in one of the semesters, possibly this semester. So make sure you understand this. Good luck and see you on the next video quite soon. Thank you.